Hey, what's up, everybody? So, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, what I'm about to show you is the result, the photos result from the iPhone 11 Pro Max in 2020. As I mentioned in my previous video, the video I'm talking about the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I heavily use the iPhone 11 Pro Max in photography field instead of the DSLR. One of the main reason for this is because the iPhone 11 Pro Max is lighter and more convenient to carry along, while DSLR is too heavy. I also have the video uh, to compare the results, the, the photo result from both gadgets, the iPhone 11 Pro Max and uh, the Canon 60 Mark II. If you haven't checked my video yet, you can do so with the link above. But if you have already checked it, you can stay tuned in this video to see the result from this gadget the phenomenal results i can say okay so without further delay let's get started
Okay guys, so that's it and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and just let me know in the comment down below what you think about the iPhone 11 Pro Max, especially I am so eager to learn from your experience as well because my experience sometimes is not enough to showcase what is capable in this gadget, but I would love to hear from you as well. So just let me know what you think about this new gadget and I'm also planning to release a bunch of photos that I took using my Canon 6D Mark II and the next video is going to be about the photo from the Canon 6 Mark II and also the review on the Canon 6D Mark II that I've been using this gadget for I think uh, maybe two years yeah two years now or more than that so I can't wait to share my experience with you guys if you haven't subscribed yet please do so so I can see you guys in the next videos.